Hello, I'm in Montreal. We've been exploring all day. Also, Taylor Swift is playing in the background, so I don't want to get copywritten. About to board in like 30-ish minutes to go on our red-eye flight to Portugal, which is so exciting. Kind of sucks though, because we spent like our whole day here in Montreal, but we made the best out of it. We had such good bagels, so fresh, probably the freshest bagels I've ever had in my life. We also got a poutine, which, okay, it was good, but I just like don't think poutine is a dish that can be elevated that crazily. We land at like 6.30 in the morning local time. Our Airbnb was like super nice and he's letting us drop off our bags early so we can drop them off at like 10.30. We're gonna take the metro, I think, into the city, a brunch spot called The Folks. That's what I've planned for us. Then I'm gonna get a Portuguese tart right away because I need that. And then we're gonna try to go to our Airbnb depending on how much time we have. I don't know what's wrong with my shoulders and my traps, but every single time I have to wear a backpack, it just hurts so bad. It feels weird that I haven't really spoken to you guys today, but Honestly, we were just fucking around in Montreal. We were in the city for like three or four hours and then we had to come back and actually check in and do stuff. But if you guys haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is my first time in Europe, which is kind of crazy. I just feel like I haven't really traveled a lot recently. You can't really travel when you're finding a new job. It's really hard to schedule interviews. Aiden's here with me. But anyways, we're gonna get on our flight soon and then we'll be in Europe. It already smelled really musty in there, so it's like it does <laughs> nothing's all thick. Hello, we are in Portugal. We finally got into our accommodation. Sorry because it's really creaky in here. It's just a really old building, obviously, and I'm greasy as hell. We did drop off our bags a lot earlier, but then the place wasn't clean yet, so we had to kind of just like wait. So we explored a little bit, we walked a lot, and now we are finally able to rest in our Airbnb. I really want to shower because I haven't showered in like over 24 hours and just traveling and being all nasty, I hate it. I want to show you guys a little tour of our place because I think it's really cute. Okay, so first you come up this set of stairs to the main floor. A cute little living room with little chair, sitting area, couch. And then we have a little island. And then we also have a full kitchen. Not that we're gonna really be cooking or anything like that, but it's just like nice to have. And then we have such a nice view out this window. I'll show you a better view upstairs. And then we have the washroom, which is okay. It's not like anything special. Sink, toilet, shower. Only thing I will say is that there is no air conditioning in this place, so it's a little musty. And then we're gonna go up these stairs, which they are so steep and this is where the bed is. It's a loft, like I said, so it's really cute, but I'm terrified of having to pee in the middle of the night. Sorry if it's loud, cause it's really hot. Like I said, there's no air conditioning, but look at this view. It's so gorgeous, so pretty, I love it. Also, once again, you probably cannot hear me. My friend told me not to lay down and what did I go and do? I went and laid down. I kid you not, I was scrolling on my phone. My phone literally, I don't even know how this happened, literally fell out of my hands and I like dozed off. That's how tired I am right now. Back after like an hour and a half long nap. My stomach doesn't hurt, but it's just really bloated. I'm chewing some gum right now, but I think I might buy some like tea or something, some peppermint tea. I find that my stomach just bloats really easily, especially if I eat food that I'm not used to eating. So that's a really great habit for my body to form. I think I'm gonna get ready now. Sorry I haven't talked to you guys. I'm actually just brain dead at the moment. We're gonna try to maybe go to one of the restaurants that I wanted to go to. And then we have a really fun cocktail bar that I made reservations for, for 9.30. We're going to try to stay out so that when we come back, we'll fall asleep and we'll be on like normal-ish hours. Done getting ready, just waiting for Aiden to shower and get ready, but we're probably gonna head out in like five-ish minutes. We're gonna try to go to Ramira, which is one of the top rated seafood places. Sorry, Aiden just turned on the shower. I'm wearing a really basic outfit. I honestly just don't feel like dressing up. I also just don't know where we're gonna go tonight and what we're gonna be doing. So I don't wanna wear like a dress or anything like that. It is 
9.30, we slept in a little bit later than we would have liked. My body is very confused about what's going on. Also, if you hear music, I don't know what that's about. There's also a marathon that's happening here, so I don't know if that's why there's music playing. What we want to do today, or what I want to do today, is go to Belem so I can try the OG Pastel Donata. Probably stop for a coffee, maybe somewhere in the city, because we're not in a rush. Let me finish getting ready, and then I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm trying to show you my outfit, and also look at my own outfit, because I can't see. I think I'm wearing this like little blouse with this denim skirt. I also don't know if you guys can hear me if I stand on this little chair. I would have liked to talk to you guys more, but it's really loud with the music and there's a fan running. So windy outside, it's scary a little bit. We're just walking, we're looking at all the sights, and I think it's really nice over here. Oh my god, the Pastel Donata from Belém is better than the place we went yesterday. I think the place we went to was Mantiegra. I like the pastache de Belém better because it's like creamier, it's more eggy, more similar to the taste of an egg tart from Hong Kong, for example. Here it was definitely like really, really fresh. Like it was still warm when we got it, and they give you packets of cinnamon to put on it. Highly recommend. I feel like people say it's overhyped, but to me, that one was better than what we had. And then we're gonna walk to another historical site and then we're gonna walk around to the Montessori I believe just a lot of walking I think I'm gonna go back I want to buy a sleeve of those tarts and bring them back because they only have them here they don't have any other location so you have to go there and I was really lucky because there's actually no line which is super rare place temporarily. One, it feels really good to brush my hair. She's been needing this all day. It was so windy where we were as you guys saw. I bought some stuff. First, I got some pastiche de belem. I bought four of them and I ate one of them already. Custardy but not sweet and it tastes more eggy. So if you don't like the taste of egg then you probably won't like this one as much. And then we went to a tin fish place just now. This packaging is so cute, but I've had the gold tin before. My aunt actually came to Portugal a little while ago and she bought my parents a bunch of tinned fish. And one of the ones that she got was essentially this, but the more bougie version. And it comes in like a gold bar packaging. And it was really good. Like it was very light. It was very refreshing. What I didn't know was this is 15 euros, which to be fair, it's like a bunch of boneless, skinless sardines in here. And then, the last thing I got today, hand knit cardigan. It is so freaking cute. And originally I was gonna get the brown vest, 
But I just saw this and I just thought this was like a lot more me. Hand knit flowers, like pink roses. This is like a souvenir for myself. To be fair, I feel like if you buy a cardigan from Urban Outfitters, it is literally $80 in Canada. So, and I got that at the Alex market. If you guys go to the Alex factory slash market, it's only open on Sundays, at least the market part, I think. And we're gonna try to go back to the restaurant we went to last night. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we actually couldn't get in. Waited for like 20 minutes and no line was moving forward. We'll probably still have to wait a decent amount, which is whatever, but at least we're prepared. Did not sleep until super late. I'm so tired right now. I think I'm like more tired than the first day we got here. I'm so happy because today is our first sunny day and we're gonna go to Cash Heist. It's a coastal town. Um, we're gonna go today and try to go to the beach and hang out. I think we're gonna try to walk down to Copenhagen Coffee Lot, close to the train station, which we have to take to get to Cash Heist. I am ready. I think our plan is to come back and shower and get ready before dinner. So we wanna get dinner at Pont Final, which we have to take a ferry across. They are fully booked up. It's a really really busy restaurant similar to the place that we went to last night Ramiro we have to go at like six o'clock and basically put our name on a wait list when I emailed for a reservation they had told me that they don't have anything like I said and to just come for the wait list for seven o'clock but we're gonna try to get there earlier I might also try to wear like sandals today all right let's get going It's been the longest day ever. I had to pee really bad, so I was like, okay, we need to do something about this because I'm, I like can't, I can't wait any longer. What we thought was just going to be the train ended up being the train and then potentially a bus and then we get to cash Kais. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. That was not the case for us. There was like a disruption in the line. So you had to get off five stops earlier, which was a little bit annoying. We walked to the water as you guys saw probably. And then we ended up just taking a bolt into cash Kais. The lines were disturbingly long. Obviously a train carries so many more people than a bus could. Honestly, it would have been fine if there was a little bit more information, but there was no information. And then they were supposed to have a temporary bus get from cash Kais back into Lisbon. That wasn't the case. It actually stopped running and we didn't know. So a bunch of people were just like standing outside waiting for it. And then an employee came out and was just like, it's not running. You guys need to go across the street and take us in the terminal area. And then we didn't realize that our transit card didn't work for the bus there for some reason. At this rate, that bus was gonna stop at probably 20 stops before the station that we were gonna get off at. And so we ended up ordering another bolt and then taking that to the station, made it onto the train and then we made it back into Lisbon. We're gonna try to go to the Italian restaurant that we wanted to go to. It's definitely cold enough where I can comfortably wear a sweater. Feels like we did a lot, but we also did nothing today. We were running so fast to get onto the train back to Lisbon because the people who are from here were all running as well. It was funny though, one of the guys was like, come on, come on, don't miss the train. And I was like, okay, I'm running as fast as I can. I'm wearing sandals, like these things are about to fly off of me. And I lost my little prepaid Metro card. And then it turns out it just like fell out of my pocket and went 
into the seat behind me. If you were to just take the train, it would be the most simple, easy path ever, but because of the disruptions, it just made it unbearable. Actually, I had mascara on from earlier today. I just kept that on. I just rinsed my face this morning. Let's brush my hair out. I did bring my straightener. Have I used it yet? Nope. I feel like I go on vacation and I don't really care about my appearance that much. Wish I wanted to take more pictures, but I just feel like I haven't felt like cute. for the day last night was super casual just walked around we got italian food which might sound kind of weird i just heard that it was really good and very cozy which it was exactly that last night we didn't really get up to anything we walked around just because it seemed warmer at night honestly and then we went to the wine bar that we originally wanted to go to on the first night but couldn't architecture and the interior design was so nice and i loved it i also don't know what all this noise is we are gonna head back out into the town and just have a chill day walking around the city we're planning to go to Sintra tomorrow. We just didn't want to do like two day trips back to back because it's just very exhausting. I think I'm going to do some souvenir shopping as well just because I want to get my friend's souvenirs since we all get souvenirs for each other. Wearing a cute little dress with a little cardigan. It gets really cloudy really easily and then it also gets really sunny and then it also gets really windy. So honing in on all the coffee shops because the coffee here has been so freaking good. I have not yet to have a bad coffee here. I feel like although I have been recording it feels like I haven't. Like it says three hours and 49 minutes have been left on my memory card and I feel like usually I record a lot more. temporarily back home because the lookout was super close to us it was honestly like right above our place and then we had to use the washroom and everything like that so it just made sense to come back to our place really quickly but our plan is to walk around alfama get a little snack sit down maybe we went to alfama the first day however i felt like because we were so tired and brain dead we didn't actually end up doing anything since it's nice today and we can walk around we're gonna go into that area see what we can eat and what we can do Aiden wants to get a sandwich really bad but i'm sure there's a million little like cafes and i'm taking a tylenol i think i'm getting my period soon my lower back has been hurting like crazy like i don't know what's going on the walk up to the lookout was crazy it was so steep but it was really quick but definitely something hard for people who don't do a lot of walking to go up to but i do find that it is a lot of incline it is a lot of uphill so make sure you don't wear stupid, stupid shoes, shoes because you want to be wearing your most comfortable shoes. You will be walking a lot. It gets really slippery on the tiles whenever it rains. I don't know if it's because Aiden and I are Canadian. So we're used to like icy roads and icy sidewalks. So it hasn't been that much of a struggle for us. We've been cognizant that it can be really slippery. actually home early it is 9 30 went to the convenience store got a coke zero because all the restaurants were charging so much money but i did get this candy i have never had this before the only thing that i can read is that it's a fruit flavored candy that's sour but when i went into the candy store today i actually saw stuff 
like this and i was intrigued because i was like hmm they almost look like live wire and then they've been like compressed together into six that's exactly what it is i think it's more like strawberry flavored i also stopped at mcdonald's because if you guys don't know and you guys live in Iraq. McDonald's all over the world have different menus depending on what country they're in. So we just wanted to see what Portugal had. Earlier today, we walked by this really nice perfume shop, which I didn't realize was there. And when I thought people walking by were the ones who smelled really nice, I was like, mm, it smells like expensive perfume. We're just gonna chill tonight. We're gonna get up early tomorrow so we can go to Sintra. I literally just bought tickets to go to Pina Palace. Gates open at nine. So we wanna leave here by like eight-ish so that we're there early. I just really don't want to have to wait in a massive, massive freaking line. There was a couple of things we wanted to do today, but you really do have to pay for every kind of excursion slash historical site that you want to see. For example, we were like, oh, maybe we'll go and look inside of a church. Nope, you have to pay, you have to buy tickets. We wanted to go to that nice garden. Nope, you had to pay again. You had to pay for everything. Today was supposed to be a shopping day. Did I buy anything? Absolutely not. I bought nothing actually. Good night.